Hi everyone and welcome to week three. I've gone through and posted your grades for last week's activities. For the memory form, I thought you did a great job identifying some of the reason why Tyrone Briggs may have been the victim of false identification. For those of you who are curious about the way it turned out, because this was a real case, a few things you might be interested in. Elizabeth Loftus, who you watched the video uh, here about, uh, she was asked by the defense to, to testify because she's an expert in eyewitness testimony and the judge actually wouldn't let her testify for a number of reasons. There was also another suspect who fit the original description given by the victims and another victim actually tentatively identified his picture as the assailant. The picture of the second suspect was never shown to the five witnesses who identified Tyrone. Also, despite the fact that there was at least one additional attack while Tyrone was in jail, the judge did not allow testimony about similar crimes uh, if the victim was to testify that the assailant was someone other than Tyrone. So this evidence never got brought up at Tyrone's trials. Um, so what happened was Tyrone was tried a first time and the jury could not reach a decision. Um, they tried him again. And the jury convicted him, but the conviction was actually overthrown because of jury misconduct. The prosecution tried the case a third time, and the jury again could not reach a verdict. So the prosecution ended up dropping the case, um, but this was three years after originally charging Tyrone with the crime that he may or may not have committed. So hopefully this just highlights the importance of considering the role of eyewitness testimony and the role of memory in these testimonies in these kinds of cases. Uh, overall, for both of the forms, I was pleased with your posts and your responses. If you didn't receive full credit, which was 12 points, uh, and aren't sure why, feel free to email me. I should have gotten everyone's posts rated, but there's always the possibility that I made a mistake. We'll have four more forms throughout the course, and I'd encourage you to continue talking to each other and giving feedback on these forums. Um, also, as we do the forms, I'd encourage you to go back and look at your own post and respond to people who have posted on it so you can really have a discussion. Also remember that the forums aren't optional. They go into your assignment grades. They are required. Um, and please keep them professional. You don't necessarily have to keep it formal, but please try to keep them as professional as you can, uh, not putting people down and things like that. Um, for both of your tests on chapter six and chapter two, there was one question on each test that a lot of people got wrong. Um, so I added one point to everyone's test score. Uh, if you're still having a hard time on the test, be sure to review the study test tips. Uh, remember that you should be studying before you take the test rather than using your book exclusively, although the tests are over an open book. Um, and be sure to do all of the assignments and extra credit. These will help bring up your grade even if you're not doing fabulous on the test. This week, we're in week three, and this week we're actually covering three chapters. Um, you will have three tests. You'll have one test for each chapter, chapter four, chapter seven, and chapter eight, but there are only two assignments. For chapter four, you can see there's no required assignment, but there is an extra credit opportunity. Um, if you would like to do it, this Word document here lays out what the assignment is. Basically, what I'd like you to do is try unitasking, which is doing one task at a time and not use any communication or music technology while you're doing something else, while you're doing anything else for 24 hours. You'll basically record what you did in this table and then you'll submit it here on Moodle. For chapter seven, you do have an assignment on the multiple intelligences. It's another discussion forum. And basically, there's three things I'd like you to do. I've listed all the multiple intelligences. Um, first, I want you to rate yourself on each intelligence um, in terms of how many, how, or how much of this intelligence you possess. You can be strong in more than one, so you don't necessarily have to assign each one one score. Um, next, in this column, I'd like you to rank each of the intelligences from least to most important. And then finally, come up with one example of a famous person uh, who's strong on each of these intelligences. Uh, you should be able to copy and paste this table into your post. If it's easier, you can also post it as a list. Either one is fine with me. Uh, and then for chapter eight, you've got another quiz style assignment called What Motivated This Behavior? Here. Uh, you'll have several examples of behaviors and you'll have to identify which theory of motivation best fits it. 
Um, you will get feedback on your answers for this one, um, and you can do the assignment as many times as you like. So if you're not happy with your first score, you're welcome to retake it. So that's it for this week. As usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and have a great week.